Hey guys, I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be critiquing Mr. Gray225 and the reason why I'm critiquing this dude and how I found him was from a friend of his which I will I might link him down to but he said he asked me if I have open critiques and I said I do and he linked me down to this guy and he said if you if and he asked if I could critique and I said sure so what I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, look through his gallery first of all. He is like I said, he's 13, and dang, the art it amazes me. Like the colors work well together. He obviously does take time. Like, oh my god. One thing I will say, the shading is beautiful. Like it is really unique. I really do like it. It's something I've never really seen before. Like, usually people just shade it by blurring it all together to make it look more real. And I guess that's what some artists do go for. And this one is just really different. Like, he like I'm not saying that's a bad thing because I really do. And I really like seeing this. This is r completely different from what I'm used to. And I guess it's just really different. One thing I will say that kind of get, does get me is like the shading on the neck. I would recommend not having it always be gray throughout. Like maybe add it, like for on the skin, make it more relevant to like skin color for that. Along within the hair so that it kind of goes well together. Because sometimes gray can be used like and said with white and it usually does work well. But more time... Nine times out of ten, it look. If you have other color, it works better if you have similar colors. Like if you had brown, you would normally use dark brown for it to kind of look realistic. But if if you don't want to, I'm just saying this is just a uh, helpful advice. Besides that, I can truly tell it's his style because of the rounded face, the way he adds a little. Um, oh, what's that part right here called? I don't know, but. I like how he adds this to most points or like certain art which kind which is actually really unique like i i hardly see people do that unless it's actually in the art itself along with the digital art i will say the traditional art is also amazing like it it's it's noticeably different with the hair from the digital to tr traditional but you can still tell it's his art along with the feather he did reference as i have looked and it looks really good for just referencing because usually sometimes you need to go over it a few times and he did put down some references he did use which i'm i'm not gonna say anything rude about that because we all reference once in a while i mean i do times because sometimes i just don't know how to draw certain things but likewise, he also has his own little species, from what I can tell. And it is certainly unique. It's well put together. He obviously did think about this. And he puts his time and effort to put like where, think, where they live, different kind of mouths, different kind of like markings gems and so on and so forth which to me that takes dedication because i've tried and i'm just like no i can't so and you can obviously tell there is like a bit of a difference when he did the traditional which nothing wrong with that like usually it does come out like that and it does take practice which he has shown he improved on which i am very proud of i'm not sure what a program he used for um, to do this but I'm glad he got out of screenshotting I guess it's called and actually uploading it and well downloading it and then uploading it to make it not have this kind of frame which makes it look a little bit more professional which I say is a very good thing and it looks so cute in a, in a way like even this like it even though Chara is very evil, she looks really cute in this. I don't I don't know if that's just me 
especially like right here like the lips are just so pretty it works and i i really have no complaint about against this dude like it is just beautiful i like how the colors work well together the creativity that this guy has i would say work a little bit more on like when you do animals because especially if you're going to do bangs most time people do not add this part unless unless you want to i'm not going to say like you say say you have to but it's just something i've noticed that most artists do not add uh, a line right here unless otherwise unless it like actually matches with the hair but besides that i really have nothing else mean to say or anything rude or anything like that because usually you hear people say well there's this this and this that i don't like but for me i'm easily to get along with so i will link this guy's da his youtube channel um even his commissions which i know are open i will link all those down below i might i will probably link uh my my da too I'm not 100 sure if i really want to but i might do that in the Maybe in this video, maybe in the next, I'm not sure. But just look down below. And also, if you want to follow this guy, please do. He only has 59 people watching him, which to me, he he deserves more. Like, he deserves all the people he needs because this dude's art is so worth it. It is so worth seeing. And if you really do like his art from just this video, I do recommend just watching this dude or maybe if you don't have an account maybe you get an account and then make this guy the first guy you watch because his art is just amazing like it's not top quality like some people would say like oh my god i i like this kind of art because it looks amazing it's just all that i'm saying it as in like it's very cute and adorable and it's just something about it i really like it it's really unique. What I would recommend is like, even though I've seen him have both eyes drawn, I would probably do more art where nothing's covering this side of the face. That's all I would say along with the shading for colors, like the skin color and just hair or even the eyes. But likewise, that's the end of this critique. If you guys want to be critiqued in another video, you can comment down below along with a link to your uh, account and I might do get one of you guys video for you guys. I'm not sure what else I can say besides um, I will see you guys in the next video.